Hey Capital Kids and families, this is Miss Tiffany here and we are on day 20 of our 21 days of prayer for kids. And today we are on Zechariah chapter two, verses one through five. And this is what it says. Then I raised my eyes and looked and behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. So I said, where are you going? And he said to me, to measure Jerusalem and to see what it what is its width and what is its length. And there was the angel who talked with me, going out, and another angel was coming out to meet him, who said to him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls, because of the multitude of men and livestock in it. For I, for, for I says the Lord, will be a wall of fire all around her, and I will be the glory in her midst. Now, that is quite a heavy and complicated part, uh, piece of scripture um, for us to look at as kids and as families and even for some of us adults. So let's just break it down just pretty simple here um, for our kiddos. This is um, Zechariah who is, has this um, vision and this is what God is telling him. He sees this man who is measuring Jerusalem. How many of y'all ever seen um, the measuring tapes that your dad or your mom uses, whether it's on the wall or um, uh, outside building something, but you have these big measuring tapes and it was kind of like that. So he was out measuring, but you have to imagine it was really, really long measuring tape, but he was measuring the walls of Jerusalem to see how big and how wide it was. Um, and it was kind of odd because during that time where Zechariah lived, there really wasn't that many people living in Jerusalem. So it was odd for someone to have to measure something as if to see if it was gonna be big enough for the amount of people that were gonna live there. And when there was hardly anyone living there at all, or there was not many people living there, um, at least compared to the city size. So it was kind of odd for them to be measuring something that um, looked plenty big as it was, but they were measuring it to see if it was big enough for the people that God was going to send to Jerusalem. And that's really what I wanna talk about here with us. Let's make it simple, right? Let's take, let's take this little nugget away from Zechariah chapter two. And we're looking at um, how, how, how this man was measuring to see if this building that did not have very people in it was gonna be big enough for who God was going to send. Now that took some faith, um, that took some, 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 some forethought, um, and I believe that that's what God is telling us today. He is saying, you know what, get ready. Make sure that you are ready. Make sure the building is ready. It doesn't necessarily be physically big, big, big enough, um, but make sure that you are ready. Make sure that your body, but the body of Christ, that means um, that's just a fancy word for you and for me and for the people at our church and the people who know Jesus and who love God and who serve alongside of one another. Make sure that they are ready to, to welcome the people that God is going to send us. And I believe that God is gonna send you as a family. If you've been praying during these 21 days that God would send you someone to tell about Jesus, I pray that you are ready in your family um, to be able to tell others and, and make friends and, and, and tell people about Jesus. To, and also I believe that God is calling us as a church to get ready. Um, there's a, so much more to this verse and to this piece of scripture that we can get into, mamas and daddies and kiddos, but let's just take away that, that we need to get ready to um, make sure that we are ready, make sure that, that, that we are prepared and that this place is going to be big enough um, to, to be um, not physically big enough, not literally, but make sure that our hearts, make sure that our minds are big enough to bring in all kinds of people that God is going to get ready to bring into our church, I believe without a shadow of a doubt. Um, and also the last part of that scripture where it says that he is going to fortify, but he's going to be that ring of fire, that wall of fire around the city. God is going to take care of us. God is going to protect us. God is going to, um, God uh, has a plan for our church. and He's going to send um, a whole bunch of people and we just need to make sure that we are ready. Amen. So what I want you to do is just for fun, mamas and daddies, and this is a, a fun learning tool too for the kiddos. You can teach them how to read a measuring tape. 
Um, some of us adults might need to Google or YouTube how to how to read a measuring tape, but go get a measuring tape and let's um, go outside and measure the length and width of your home. Just for fun, walk it out, see how big it is. Um, and then while you're doing that or after you do that, think about um, how God is going to bless your family and how God is going to bless our church if we believe in him and we have the faith in him and to trust him. Um, and if we get ready, God's going to send us a harvest, which just means that he's going to send us people that we can love on and tell about Jesus. And that, that, my friends, is what it's all about. All right, let's pray. God, we thank you so much. We love you. We praise you. Um, this day, we thank you for being an awesome God. Um, and Lord, we thank you for your word that teaches us. And Lord, I pray that you will teach every single one of us listening today to prepare our hearts and prepare our minds to know you, God, but also to welcome those who come into this house, that come into our lives and in our families' lives, to love on them, to tell them about Jesus. But also, Lord, I pray right now that you will prepare our hearts in this church to um, welcome and to love on and to tell and show Jesus to the people who walk into this church um, and who we invite into this church, God, because we believe that you are growing, um, that you are moving in our midst, Lord, in our church, in our family, God, and we thank you so much for that. You, We give you all the glory because you deserve it. It's not us, Lord, but it's all about you. So help us, help us to be used by you. Teach us what we need to do. Well, we love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Was it? Amen. Amen. All right. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you back here tomorrow for day 21.